resident in Kulungungu, Pomakom and environs say the continuous closure of land borders has retarded economic activity leading to poverty and hunger. They want government to provide alternative livelihood to reduce hardships. Ghana closed all its air and land borders in March last year as part of measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus. Restrictions on air travel ban was later lifted, but land movement within neighboring Togo, Burkina Faso and Côte d'Ivoire remained restricted. The impact of the continuous ban is telling on residents in communities along these borders. Kulungugu and Pulmakum in the Upper East region are some of these communities. Businesses in the once vibrant communities have stalled, leading to job losses, particularly among the informal sector, which constitutes about 80% of the productive sector. Most inhabitants depend mainly on activities between the three countries, Ghana, Togo and Burkina Faso, for their daily bread. Seydou Hamidou is a welder and a trader in hardware. On a normal day, Seydou makes an average of 500 cities profit from his welding business. But today, even money to buy water at work is a major challenge. When there is no COVID-19, if I work a day, more cars are coming, more materials. If I want to go and buy in Boku, I'll get it easy. But now because of the COVID-19 and they also close the barrier, we are not getting anything. As for the trading venture, he could not remember the last time he visited the sales point. Because of the COVID-19 and they also closed the barrier, we are not getting anything. When you go for, for the material, they say because of the COVID-19. And now when you come, you won't get any work. Seydou Hamidou has a number of children who together need at least 50 CDs daily for school. When you get the work to the person say no money. And then me too is because all of this work that I'm doing for my, uh, looking for my children and my parents for education. Mm -hmm. So I had a prepare. The tale of Seydou Hamidou sums up the frustration of all the border dwellers here. Goods in shops have gathered dust and others gone bad, leading to loss of capital. When the migrants or immigrants enter, this is what we, all, we are always doing. And our mothers, they are always selling this, oh, petty, petty items like this, water and all those things. But as of now, all those things are broke down. We have nothing to do anymore. Sometimes 30 cities, so because of the coronavirus, so we get sitting here, no any business, no moving. Ilyasu Suleiman engages in multiple ventures along the border, but now he has to struggle daily to feed his family. You come out a day, you only stand here, then you sit and no one comes to ask you what you are selling. You only be eating what you, what you are selling. You eat with your family, then at the end of the month, you have nothing to go and buy. And in fact, it's not only the stores that we do as a business here. Like we change Sefa, we change Dollar, we change Nera. And if you don't see human being, how do you change all this uh, currency I'm talking of? There's not, nothing is moving. In fact, everything here is down. As part of measures to support citizens, government initiated the COVID-19 stimulus package under the National Board for Small-Scale Industries, NBSSI. Available records show at least 7,673 beneficiary applicants are from the Upper East region. However, residents in Kulungugu, Pomakum and its environs say they have little knowledge about it. Goal 8 of the Sustainable Development Goals calls for the promotion inclusive and sustainable economic growth, employment and decent work for all. To achieve this feat, experts argue it will take pragmatic steps and the promotion of policies that encourage entrepreneurship and job creation.